Hi everybody, welcome to Crafty Ames Workshop. And I am back again. Um, it's been a while, but you know, stuff's going on. Gotta do what I gotta do. Um, but I wanted to do a fast forward on getting this section of my diamond painting done. And I thought it might be something fun for you all to watch. So the whole rest of this is done. Let me lift this up so you can see. And so I've just got pretty much this section right here to do. So that's what we're going to do a fast forward on. So I don't know how long it'll take me. Hopefully not too long, but we'll see. So I hope you enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed already, please uh, subscribe to me. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and like to see more. Um, and just to let you know, this is from Diamond Art Club. This one is called the Four Seasons Tree. It's a 20 by 30. As you can see, my it's not too bad. It's not too big. It's a little bit bigger than a 8 by 8 by 11. Definitely, I'd say an 8 by 11 is probably more like that. Uh, but. Oh, and I did want to say this too. I am addicted to this. <laughs> so I did end up buying several more um, of these diamond paintings. Only um, it is not through Diamond Art Club. I have one that I ordered, but I haven't got it in yet. Um, but I am trying out Wish and seeing if Wish has good product or not. We will see. I may do a an opening for that but I just want to let you know about that so I'm gonna go ahead and start and I hope you guys enjoy your day and I hope you guys are starting some diamond paintings because I'm telling you I love it it's very fun and it's very stress relieving so here we go
or anything that I missed. Oh, I do right there. And there. Okay. So let me get that. Let's see. Okay. So make sure you go over the whole entire piece. Make sure no diamonds are in the wrong spot. Make sure there's no empty spots where maybe a diamond fell out because it wasn't in there real good. And think we're good so so I would recommend going ahead and using something like this or I think I've seen people use cups some uh, if you don't have anything like that then maybe get your piece of plastic and just put it over top and just kind of give it a good mush down and then after you do that you can do as I showed you in my uh, my last video how to seal it because um, I would I recommend sealing I just don't see how these things are going to last forever so I would definitely put some sort of sealer on it and honestly after thinking about it I only put one layer on the last one I did I would probably go back and do a second layer just just to be on the safe side but go ahead and watch that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's the video before this one um, on sealing your diamond painting. But so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like the fast forward video, let me know. Maybe I can do some more on other subjects or other crafts that I have. And um, that only took me, it's, it took me two and a half hours to just do this one little section. So. And while I did it, I watched my uh, YouTube, some other channels on YouTube, and just kept my mind busy and de-stressing while pushing these down on here. And I think it turned out really, really well. So, alright. Hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you're doing any diamond painting, and if you haven't yet, give it a try. I really recommend it. And, um... Y'all have a great day. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.